best esports player. Presented, Presented by, by Omen, by HP. By HP. Sonic Fox, the legendary. So we're going to pause it real quick because I feel like as somebody who mostly plays fighting games, I look at Sonic Fox as, you know, one of the most dominant players in history at this point. So the fact that they led the charge with Sonic Fox, I don't know how you follow up with people after this. Is this, I don't, I don't know who else is going to be on here. Let's see though. Oh, damn, that's... A, okay, all right, wait, wait. First off, okay, that's not fair. Because it's Tokido. That guy's actually, actually legendary. And completely plausible as, you know, eSports Player of the Year. He is your champion. Very nice guy as well. Ooh, okay, okay. Uzi. You know, I am, I am not good. I am not good at these kind of games, but I respect so many people that are. Oh, yo. This is actually pretty cheap, though. This is really hard to call, especially when it's like team sports involved. Mm. Mm. I do like the variety. Hold on, I'm going to pause it real quick. I do like the variety of games that they're pulling this eSports player of the year from, though. I like what they're doing. Back to the video. Okay. And the game award goes to, goes to Sonic Fox. Everybody. Sonic Fox, the legend. First off, pause. The fact that my man is in the crowd, and I don't mean like actually my man, I mean my homie, as in, you know, anybody could be my man. But Sonic Fox in the crowd, rocking the full fursona suit. This is why Sonic Fox is a legend. This is one of the many reasons. The commitment to the furry brand is why I rock with Sonic Fox. This is exactly what I'm talking about. After winning, still holding the head. Got to you. Got to get in the full persona character. And and hold on, pause the video real quick. If you look to the left, you see Peter Rosas, Combo Fiend, another fighting game FGC legend, looking right at Sonic Fox in congratulatory happiness and bliss. You can see it with the glasses. Shout outs to Combo Fiend. Back to the video. I like the surprise of Sonic Fox putting the hand on the chest like, oh, me, me. Also, hold on, sidebar. I appreciate the casual, the casual fursona because not only is Sonic Fox wearing the jersey, but the jeans for the casual outfitting. I, I really am a fan of this and even got a hole for the tail. This is furry commitment right here like i can't even go i can't even tell you guys if i see any other furry person in person without their tail exposed i, I got questions about comfort back to the video uh wow <laughs> i really want this shit oh my god <laughs> i'm gonna pause it real quick the laugh the the textbook dominic laugh that's what i'm talking about i i love that it's still uh it's still a blissful moment for Sonic Fox, especially considering we come from fighting games and, and Sonic Fox represents a lot of different communities, but just the giddiness, the, the happiness to still be part of the fighting game community and still representing yourself. That's, that's something, I, I like how genuine Sonic is up on the stage right now. Uh, big honor. Uh, I kind of just really, Back to really the video, I'm sorry. I, I don't know if I need to tell. Competitively. Um, I've never really, really done it for the fame. I kind of just, Enjoy the rush of like beating people up. Hey, you know? like, pause, pause, pause. Yo, first off, I am right there with you, Sonic. Uh, saying this in front front of a, a crowd of people, I feel like obviously we all play video games and everybody there plays video games. But saying you're there for the competitive, when people are now saying it's, it's whack to be sweaty in video games, the fact that Sonic Fox is like, yo, competitive fighting games is why, I, why I'm here. I commend that so much. Back to the video. Just, just time stamp wise, we're at 246, so you'll know where we're at. Um, I've never really, really done it for the fame. I kind of just mm, enjoy bars. the rush of like, beating people up, you know? Like, <laughs> Pause one more time. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I am a fan of digital violence. If I get to play video games and beat people up, Sonic Fox, we're one and the same in that aspect. That's why I play fighting games, okay? Because I personally like beating people up. Back to the video. Oh, like even like, uh, I'm sure you guys heard the story of uh, when I won the IPS finale, 
The other thing I don't do this for is for the money. It's because when uh, my best friend, one of my, my best friend, one of my closest friends, oh my god, I'm nervous. Uh, his dad had cancer, and after I won, well, before I even like uh, did the match, I told him whether I win or lose, I'm gonna be donating at least like 10k of the prize winning to his father for his stage three cancer. And I hope it works out for him. Um, and he really, really. <laughs> So it's a couple of things about this. I paused the video. We're at 3.26. There's a couple of things about this. I remember this. And if I'm not mistaken, this was for another uh, NRS Mortal Kombat player, Rewind, who is a young and up-and-coming player, um, who's absolutely ridiculous, uh, still plays Mortal Kombat to this day. Uh, as somebody who lost their mother from cancer, this is something that really hits home because... You see people in your community who actually, you know, care about you outside of just, I know I just said competitive video games is where I'm here, but to see people who you play video games with competitively on this competitive side of things that we really don't get to see. I'm telling you as a fighting game player, you don't get to see a lot of these people that you play games with a lot. Like you're either playing online or you go to a live event and we all know for the last couple of years that has not been happening. So when this happened, uh, obviously this is before that, when this happened, it hit multiple notes, not only inside of the community, but with me personally, like you're looking out for somebody that you care about, somebody that you met via video games, via fighting games on, on top of that. And then just the fact that Sonic Fox, that they committed to saying like, regardless of what happens, I'm still going to donate this to you. I'm still going to try to like help you out. And I remember that like as somebody part of the FGC, I could tell you right now, that's something that like sticks out to a lot of people, but we gonna get back to it. I just wanted to say that really, that really hit me in the heart. <laughs> I've never been this nervous. This is more scary than I want Evo. Um, but, I mean, I guess I, I never really, I had always just done it just to make new friends and bonds in the community. So, um, I guess for now, I want to give a shout out to obviously the team that's helped me do all the, all the way Echo Fox. I want to give a shout out to uh, um, all my friends back at home, my best friend, the Kill Sage. Uh, he's helped me out so much through life. Um, McKenna and Black, the, gang, the goons, back at home, gang, gang. Um, <laughs> um, uh, as you guys also I'm going to pause real quick. Um, he talks about, uh, they talk about, excuse me, they talk about their friends, uh, the Kill Sage is what I was uh, or actually about to talk about. The Kill Sage is another player who was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, part of, I feel like, of the upper echelon of fighting game players. The fact that Sonic Fox, the Kill Sage, and now even the Super Noon, all these players reside in the same spot uh sonic speaking about how they are like affected how they are there for their friends this is exactly what i'm talking about it's still in the realm of the fighting game community um it's still with other people that even if i know loosely it's still people that are that you know dwell in the community are trying to be players just the same um these are this is all still in the same wheelhouse of like the community aspect of the fighting game community and just looking at these players like they're actually the best players in their respective fields in a lot of games. And if not, they're right up there with the best. And it's seriously because of players like Sonic. It's seriously because they have this kind of community and they keep, like, empowering each other. And they bounce off of each other really well. So just having a circle around you, especially for the community as well, it's so many different aspects that kind of feed into, like, even just this speech and, like, what, what they're putting into, you know, telling the story. Uh, or may not know. Back to it, um, by the way. Also super gay, so I mean, uh, <laughs> I want to give it a shot. <laughs> so I paused it. We're at 411. Sonic says, I'm super gay. It goes into like this crazy laugh. The segue from like, yo, this is for the homies, and then say, yo, I'm super gay. I love that. I, I love that. Never shying away from their identity. Always holding up that, that, sa that same attitude, no matter what, is, which is one of the reasons I really, really rock with Sonic. Back to the video. <laughs> so, I want to give a super shout out to all my LGBTQ plus friends that have always helped me through life. Um, obviously, so I'm gonna pause it right here at 4:23. Sonic says a shout out to LGBT LGBTQ plus friends. Um, I, I personally feel like, especially on a stage like this, uh, talking directly to the fighting game community as well as just the gaming community overall is amazing um a, a lot of people a, a lot of people don't understand that like not just fighting games but the gaming space itself is for everybody it's all about like this enjoyment so for to point out 
and, and say, well, hey, I want to shout out to my community that I also represent outside of video games. Um, that is something that's super powerful because this space, like we said before, there's a there's a lot a space for people to come here and enjoy themselves. That's what this space is for. I mean, if you look at Sonic, all you have to do is look at Sonic. I feel like Sonic is paving a way in, in many aspects for anybody from the LGBTQ plus community to come in, be, be comfortable, have fun, and just compete like everybody else without, you know, any kind of shortcoming, without anybody like going at them, them being bothered or anything like that. And obviously there's a lot of people out there, especially on the internet, that will not let that be. But I'm here to sit, tell you right now, one of the reasons I rock with Sonics and specifically this part of the speech is because of that. Sonic always puts on for his community, whether it be the fighting game community, whether it be the LGBTQ plus community, he all, they always put on, they always put on for the community sorry the camera's over here um and that goes for everybody else that rocks with sonic um the kill sage as well always puts the community up there uh super new and another one of the players always goes back to the community always reaching out to the community for help always showing love and sonic fox just the, i feel like the ring leader of this in, in a lot of instances especially being kind of the forefront person to represent a community especially a champion player in the community so saying that you know shout out to the lgbtq plus community really does highlight the fact that we have a player from this community who is looking and trying to support the community and just always has the back not only once again for the fighting game the video game side but for that community outside of games who wants to would always welcome always trying to get more people into this community always welcome here so personally like this part of the speech really hit home because Sonic is one of those people who really does try to extend the circle of not only just having, you know, personal friends, but just the community itself. Um, and that goes right back to when Sonic donated their winnings to a player whose father was suffering from like stage three cancer. So it really hits home. It, re it really hits home. And even though, you know what I'm saying, I'm not personally a member of the LGBTQ community, I do understand what needs to happen when it comes to any space that, these commu that this community should already be accepted in, especially one like the gaming community, especially one like the fighting game community. But I'm going to go back to the video. Call me through life. Um, obviously, I'm a furry, so shout out to the furries. I've been in the furries in the year. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna pause it real quick. The fact that there was somebody was like, yo, shout outs to the furries. And somebody in the crowd was like, yeah, like that, yeah, itself lets you know just how important uh, that inclusion is in the community. Uh, the, the space for, for gaming has become like very vast. And just Sonic being on the stage and getting this kind of shout out from somebody uh, who also represents this community, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Because you're gonna be in spaces sometimes where the community is more than just, you know, one person. You want people to feel safe in this community. So just even hearing like that vocal shout out to Sonic on stage lets you know that they have an impact already going forward into not only just fighting games, but just games in general. Back yeah, to so the video. I gotta really say is that I'm gay, black, a fairy, pretty much everything a Republican hates, and. <laughs> The best I love him pausing. Right yo, that's that. That was the actual react. The yo, putting it's it's obviously Sonic is very comfortable with who they are. Uh, regardless, going on the stage and doing something like this, and not having to be in this space, but understanding that this is something that I feel like it needs to be done. It needs to be seen for people to understand that. Like, it's okay, it's comfortable in this space, you know? And Sonic is doing a crazy amazing job of making that being known in speeches like this. Back to the video 440. I want to give a super shout out to all my LGBTQ plus friends that have always taught me through life. And definitely, um, personally, I was just happy to see Sonic get a... Uh, nominated i was happy to see uh tokido get nominated in all honesty the fact that sonic won the fact that they won lets people know uh lets me know that people are looking at the community in at least uh, a, a very positive light especially one in which i see it so this hit home for me a lot uh i watch the game awards so i'm really interested to see what they do to kind of you know integrate all these other communities and not just you know the different you know 
video game communities. I, I, I love seeing how it goes further and it gets more and more broad to bring in all these different video games, regardless of, you know, where they come from. But Sonic Fox being esports player of the year, so that, that's, that's not only a major win for Sonic, but for the fighting game community, firstly for the LGBTQ plus community, for the fighting game community, for fighting games, for Sonic Fox, and just for everybody who actually supports uh, Sonic Fox. And I feel like that's an entire community. That's the entire world, I feel like, at, at, at this point. So, But last part of the video was like five, two, three seconds left. Done.